Yeah, segue into the Palestine stuff. Not the focus, like you said. Just, right. Like, talk about it. Yeah, no, totally. Just... Yeah, I mean, um, th did you have something you wanted to say about it particularly? I mean, to be fair, I, I like that it's being talked about. I, I think everything that's needed to be said has been said. It's mm -hmm. just such a shit show. I just fucking hate it. That mm. that story about the 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 foreign aid coming through and people flocking to get their food and the IDF firing on the pro uh, not protesters but uh, innocent fucking civilians. Yeah. Uh, that that was just like. Can can, can they stoop any lower? Like, to just fire at fucking people who are just trying to get food because they are being starved by you? Yeah, it's- it's- oh, fuck. It's- it's fucking evil. It's fucking and, evil. And there are so many people, especially like in my area, that are just full-on fucking Zionists because they- they want their Armageddon, baby. They want their fucking Battle of Armageddon, so they love fucking Israel. Even though they're not fucking yeah. Jewish, probably don't even have a Jewish fucking friend. But they love they fucking Israel. Like yeah. They probably don't even like Jews. No, they no, they probably don't. No, no, so, they, so most they, of them they, probably they, don't. Uh, these kinds, well, I well, I would know. These kinds of people are very anti-Semitic. In fact, the most anti-Semitic people you will meet. They just I mean, want the rapture. Yes, they, they just, just want the rapture. Want the they just want the rapture. Uh, like, yeah. like I, I grew up hearing, oh. That you 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 fucking Jewed me out of my money. Oh, you know you Jew this Jew that. Oh, you're yeah. such a Jew. Like I mean, not not directed at me because I'm not Jewish, but like I heard that directed yeah, it, at other it, people. It was a con. It's a it's a pretty uh, like unfortunately common term. Yeah, yeah, especially like down here, and like the oh, the yeah, fact no, that these people have the gall to say like. Oh, I, I, I support Israel because they're God's chosen people. God's chosen oh, yeah. people. Give me a fucking break, dude. Like, give me okay, a fucking okay, break. Bird. Like, like the, you're telling me God's chosen people bombed where Jesus was born on Christmas? That's what God's chosen people did? Okay. Alright. They bombed Bethlehem on Christmas Day. Jesus. Yep. Yeah, literally. Yep. Like... Imagine if, like, let's say Jesus was being, like, reborn on that time in Bethlehem, and then he died to a fucking bomb, like, a bomb blast. They killed Jesus again! They killed him yeah. again, guys! God! Will they ever stop? Oh. <sighs> Sorry, oh. that was... <laughs> I, I was... <laughs> yeah. That was a joke, guys, that was a joke, that was a joke, okay? I was making fun of anti-Semitic people. It was a joke. <laughs> Hey, it's fine, it's fine. John Stewart uh, forgives you. <laughs> John Stewart forgives me. John with us. <laughs> John, John be with us. Amen. Thanks be to John. No, but we, we all know we all know the Roman Empire is who killed Jesus, obviously. Oh, yeah. Like, they, they, like, poked a spear at him. Like, they, they, I mean, they literally, like, hammered his, like, hands and feet. So, I think that's Maybe listen, not. listen, just because yeah. just because the, the person who betrayed Jesus was named Judah doesn't mean the Jews did it, okay? <laughs> like, come on. For real, for real. Yeah. Like, come on. No. Like, like... You're just, you're just being simplistic I, at that I, point. I have family members that unironically, like, with a straight face, tell me that Hitler and the Nazis was God's wrath for the Jews killing Jesus. Like, they told me that with a straight face. Wow. Like... That's that's what I was raised I, to believe. Of course, I didn't buy it at the yeah. time, but yeah. Um, there's only like there's one group of like there's one group or like certain people that I think should stay on Twitter and stay on it for like a long time, saying whatever they want, and that's the um Zionists and um very nationalist Israelis. They should absolutely keep on Twitter and keep typing whatever they want. Oh, oh yeah, really. yeah, yeah! Like, like, uh, like, <laughs> kill them all. The the first Metallica album, you know? Yeah, yeah, literally. Talking like Sephiroth about Palestinian people. Oh God! Yeah. At that, yeah. Point, at that point, I just like say, let them incriminate did themselves. Did you Did you see that clip of of Destiny just being like, "Oh yeah, I'm pro genocide. 
I, oh, yeah, I, 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 I think I think they, they should all just be kicked out to Egypt or whatever. Did you Wait, see did the tweet actually, of him? Did he actually say that? Yeah, no, he did. He actually said that. He said uh, oh, he okay. said the words, I am pro genocide. You can clip that if you want. Um there's also the tweet he said oh. where like, Well yeah, China's committing genocide against the Uyghur people because they have said like they intend to do it. Israel is not committing genocide. Wait, let me find it. I can find it actually. Uh, yeah, I was I wanna see that, yeah. Like the double standard's insane, but yeah, I don't yeah. think there's any. So, so you're pro, you're pro, you're pro genocide of the Palestinians, but also a genocide mm -hmm. isn't happening. So you're doing double speak, literally 1984. Yeah. He also like mocked Aaron Bush now. Bush. Oh no! Of yeah, of course. Yeah, his his whole subreddit was was mocking him. Which, by the way, yeah. I was wanting to get to that as well on this show. I didn't know if we were gonna have time, but uh. We started pretty early, so yeah. Um, I I think it's important to look back at how this historic and it is historic way of a, a method, I should say, of protest has actually you know brought good results. Like for instance, uh, um, uh, Thich Quang Duc, the uh, Buddhist monk who uh, self-immolated in protest of No Din Diem's uh, treatment of the Buddhists in uh, South Vietnam, the uh, otherwise known as the uh, first Rage Against the Machine album cover. Um, I'll, I'll pull that up as, as, as I'm talking, although it is hard for me to talk while I type. No Din Diem was overthrown in a coup as a direct result of that photo going viral, as viral as you could have gone in the 60s anyway. Um, yeah. And that is why, you know, Rage used that as, as their first album cover. Um, because it was truly raging against the machine. And it was a brutal way to to bring about change uh in south vietnam um if not for him many 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 more buddhists would have been brutalized in in south vietnam yeah was it didn't jfk like pull, like you know basically pull all support from like south vietnam yes when he saw that yep. yes yep. yes yep exactly yep yeah, so the idea that self-immolating is merely just mental illness is, is seriously overlooking what it truly means and, and, mm. and, and why it's done. Um, because to a point, I'd say probably most people on the planet are mentally ill. I don't think most people are are all fine up there. Everybody's got some sort of PTSD, you know, every you know, um especially if you you're know, a pers queer person or a woman or a person of color. Um, you know, not that uh I don't think Aaron Bushnell was any of those things, mind you, but um in order to be in the military, which he was I, I think you you sort of have to be a little kooky up there in order like in order to take another human life even if it's justified I think you you yeah. have to you have to have a few screws loose up there in order to be capable of doing that so this idea that that oh he, he was just really mentally ill got radicalized online so on and so forth Maybe those things are true, but history doesn't lie, and self-immolation has been shown to be an effective form of protest. It really brings a lot of eyes onto a situation that were not on it before. Especially like back in the 60s, nobody, nobody knew shit about No Din Diem. Nobody knew shit about what was happening there, but then... Yeah, nobody that picture 
of the monk burning himself circulated in newspapers and television broadcasts and so on and so forth, and that brought attention to that very important issue and ultimately led to the issue being resolved. I, I don't agree with everything Aaron Bushnell has said. I, I think that he definitely said some things that, that I, I don't agree with, like the, oh, I can't, I can't condemn or condone Hamas, like that, that kind of stuff. Like, I, yeah, yeah. I, I don't agree with that. I don't agree with the woke scold stuff. Apparently he was, like, pro-Mr. Uh, not Mr. Flowers, uh, Mrs. Flowers. Oh, God. Um, and the human. You mean Professor, yeah, Professor Flowers? Professor Flowers, Flowers yeah. Yeah, that's, oh, that's what I meant yeah. to say, Professor Flowers. But Who's not a professor, by the way. She, she's about as much of a professor as Dr. Phil is a doctor. Yeah. Right, yeah, Pregunia yeah. D Dr. Hill, doctor. Or doc Dr. Phil, not like Dr. Hill. <laughs> Dr. Or, or like Phil. Dr. Weird. From, she's like Dr. Weird from Aqua Team Hunger Force. Dr. Dre, but with less flow. <laughs> yeah, with less flower. <laughs> with less flower. That was a good one. Yeah. Um, but, but yeah, I, I think despite all that, I think what he did was heroic, and... Uh, you know, instead of just sitting on his ass and and just tweeting about it or talking about it on a live stream like I am, he actually went out there and, and did something about it. And I think that's that's admirable, even though it ultimately re ultimately resulted in the end of his own life. I, I think that uh, I th I think he is a hero, personally. Yeah. How how do you, how do you feel, Rick? I think he put he didn't he put his actions where his mouth was, and I think mm. no matter what beliefs he had, no matter what he thought, what I might disagree with him on, it doesn't matter. It, it's null and void because I can't speak because he actually did something and he carried through with it, and for that I think he deserves all of the um, the recognition he deserves because. It's such a, I don't know. It's such a extreme thing to do, and he went through with it. So, and he, I think that's, I I can't articulate it like very properly, but I just you're doing a great job. I just have the utmost respect for people who can go through with what they say they want to do. That's what he said in like one of his final posts. Like, people mm. always ask themselves what they would do in like situations like slavery or in Jim Crow. Well, now you know what it is because it's happening right now. And I think mm -hmm. that was poignant. And I think that's the main gist of what we should think about when we talk about Aaron Bushnell. Yeah, I, I, I completely agree. And I, I think yeah. that we're all more complacent in this genocide than Aaron Bushnell is. And that, that's not to say I think that everybody watching this should go to the Israeli embassy and set themselves on fire in, in turn. Yeah, I'm like just nah, saying, that. do something, you know, whatever it is, well, not whatever, but like, in a, in a positive way, whatever it is that you think you, sh you, you, sh you could do, you should go do it. Me personally, I don't know what the fuck to do. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. Do as I say, not as I do, because I don't know what the fuck to do, to be honest with you. I don't know what the hell I'm doing with my own life let alone what I'm going to do about They have absolutely no clue overseas. what they're doing. I have absolutely no clue what I am doing. Rip, rip I, Aaron I Bushnell, R.I.P. I think he's a hero. That's the gist of it. Yeah. I think he's a hero. I'm actually someone who's like extremely pro palestine and also extremely pro-Ukraine. <laughs> I, I say both from the river and Slava Ukraini. <laughs> Yeah. From the oh, window that's, that's, to the that's, wall. That's a good question. Uh, you say from the river. How do you feel about that quote? Like, unironically, because I there's a lot of discourse that it's anti-Semitic to say that. I, I I'm gonna be very simple. All right. I I mean, 
I don't have like very deep explanations, but I know for a fact that I do not think it's genocidal, and I don't think mm. we should well, take it from Palestinian people. I've seen it used since like 2020 or 2019, and like everyone was like, but now like everyone made a huge discourse about it. I've seen it. I used to see the from the river to the sea all the time. Yeah, like, same. In, like, yeah, rally yeah. I, 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 I said it a lot online. Even be- a lot, even before the 2023 rolled around. But yeah. Uh, yeah. But also, I, I know there are like problematic people who say Slavo Ukraini, but I actually, I don't see a problem with that either. I just Yeah, think that that's the thing about slogans, right? Is that they can be used by all kinds of different people for all kinds of different meanings because slow, slogans are compressed. They, you can, you can twist them to, to, to mean anything. I mean, that's yeah. kind of what the whole constitutional debate is about in America because so many things in the Constitution are vague and you can twist it any way you want to Sunday to make it say what you want to say. Kind of like the Bible as well. I mean, mm-hmm. you can you can interpret something however you want. But I think the overwhelming majority of people who use that phrase are not genocidal. You know, these are people that, that want a one-state democracy uh, in self determination for both Jews and Arabs in the reason in the region, uh, I, I don't I don't think most people who use that slogan are are genocidal. I really don't. I, I've I've seen Same. some people who are, but um the overwhelming majority no. I, I I think I think it's 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 just an attempt to not alienate but demonize the the pro-Palestinian movement. I, I, I think yeah. that, you know, they're trying to equivocate and make you, make the reader or the viewer or whoever, anybody, believe that everyone who is pro-Palestine wants all Jews dead. Mm. Yeah, which is not true at all. They equate like, <clears throat> anti-Zionism to, to anti-Semitism. Oh, and yeah, some anti-Semitic people do say they're anti-Zionist, but there's usually some sentences that follow that that kind of tip off the, uh, the idea that uh, they're, they're, they, they maybe don't have the, the, the best ideas for the Jews in mind. But yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, speaking of Israel, though, okay, I, I, I'm going to ask a question. I'm going to ask a guest question. And I want you two to guess, like, the percentage, all right? All right. Um, guess the percentage of Israeli Jews who think that Ethiopian Jews are true Israelis. Like, Ethiopian Jews living in Israel? Yes. Oh, I don't even want to guess. I'm kind of scared. All right, let me say it. Thirteen. I was kind of expecting it to be low. Of Israeli oh, oh. Jews, only 13% of Israeli Jews say that Ethiopian Jews are truly Israeli. Damn, Israelis be a little racist. Mm. Yeah. Curious. Yeah. Curious, indeed. Very curious. Mm. God damn. Mm-hmm. Not, 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 I don't know about this one, Chief. I don't know, maybe, <laughs> oh, ha- maybe, maybe, maybe Hamas does have a point, I don't know. Kidding, kidding, yeah. kidding. Hey, we're, 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 we're just asking questions. We're just asking some I'm questions. I'm just asking the question. I'm wait, Tucker uh, Carlson. Wait, I'm... <gasps> oh, what do you mean? What do people mean by the blah, 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 blah? <laughs> what, what do they mean by Ethiopian Jews not being real Jews? How exactly are they not Israeli? I'm and just asking the question. question we... And why are we not asking ourselves this question? Oh, wait, wait. I don't want to be like those Twitter users. I'm going to find the actual link, because I actually got it from a link. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I, 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 I trust you. I know that you're, uh, you're, you're one of the good ones. Oh, so you're, you're legit. You're legit. <laughs> Very reliable source. One of the good Twitter users, yeah. by the way, so no one's going to cut I'm me out of context one. on that one. I wanted the. <laughs> oh shit! I found it. From the window to the wall. Oh, dude, this headline is also. 
Okay, so Har- Haaretz is a weird, a weird news article. Like half the time, like half of their articles are like, we have to acknowledge we are living in an apartheid state, and the other half is all glory to the IDF. Ha- Haaretz is weird. Okay. I know Haaretz is like a a news organization, I think. Yeah, yeah, and, like, I, I I know I know Haaretz. Yeah. Half of their articles are like, we have to acknowledge, we live in an apartheid state, and the other half's like, oh lord, yeah, you have killed them all. Like, it's so weird. But this wait, is the one wait, I'm talking Wait, 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 kill, kill all who? Kill them all. I mean, like, they'll say stuff like that. I meant, like, half of the opinion pieces in Haaretz are like, kill them all, the other half's like, we have to acknowledge, we have done so much crimes. Like, it's just That's such so a weird we- concept. Yeah, because cause, yeah, cause, 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 cause Haaretz is Israeli, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's but it's like the most free speech. Ninety. That's really interesting, 90%. though, that that they employ people, journalists, for opinion pieces that have a such a wide range of ideas. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'd you, imagine you, some of those journalists did not make it out. The ones that said, "Uh, you know, the apartheid." Yeah, try, try, try. Those journalists that are saying "kill them all," uh, try going to Gaza and be a journalist and see what happens. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> but there's really. Kill by your own bomb. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Go, 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 go yeah. over to Gaza and be a journalist over there and see what happens to you. Even if you raise saying... a red white flag, see what happens. Even if you raise a flag, say we surrender. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Put put your put your hands up right in front of the IDF with a fucking M M15, uh, right right to your head and uh, see what happens. Yeah, so it's a little little social experiment, one might say. You, you, you can almost say they did a little bit of trolling. M16, not M15. What the fuck? M16. Yeah. I know my guns, okay? I'm a gun girl, right? God. We, we love our gun girls. Um, yes. Um, I want to say this. Like, here's a, okay, here's a hot take from me, all right? Here's my hot take. Because, listen, I don't like the opposition party of Israel either. Like, I know they're like... They're more socially liberal, but they still want Palestinians to die, right? Yeah, they're but still stinky. They're yeah. still stinky. But here's my take. Smelly. I think it is funny to see Israel in disorder. I like... The, oh, yeah. I, yeah. It, it is funny. Yeah. I like seeing those protests. That's my hot take. Yeah, I like the, seeing those protests. Against the Yahoo. Netanyahu protests, yeah. Are those, are, those, no, are those still happening? Or yeah, I, I've seen ones from like December of this of like last year. Okay, okay, yeah, because I, I wasn't sure if if they kind of cracked down on that the so-called they democracy. Are okay, we are cracking down, but there's but people are still fighting. I still don't like them, but it is fun. I like because it's basically like you know that mean like heartwarming. The two worst people you know are fighting. That's right. How I feel. Right. Yeah. I feel well, like- I, I mean, I I support the Israeli citizens that are marching against Netanyahu. I mean, I support that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But Netanyahu is yeah, the worst. But fuck, yeah. Fuck yeah. Fuck the fuck the fuck the uh, the opposition party. Opposition party, my ass. Yeah. The opposition only opponent was. Is, like. Oh yeah, we should kill Palestinians in this way. Okay. Yeah, well, I, I think we most of their opposition humane. is from a domestic standpoint, not a foreign policy one. Exactly. If you get my drift, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Mm. But yeah, I I I found like I, I d- dug up some stuff about like Israel and like their politics and stuff. Right, I not that I like it, I I don't like any of them, but I do find it interesting to like look stuff up and. Mm. I think you already know this, but like, M- Mizrahi Jews are like Netanyahu's party's like biggest supporters, and there is some problematic stuff about the term Mizrahi Jews because Mizrahi Jews was basically like a blanket term used to like erase like identities of Jewish people from Middle Eastern countries. Yeah, like I was, I was gonna say, doesn't that basically just mean European Jew? No, Non-European Jews. <laughs> oh, okay. So I, I got it backwards. Yeah, Ashken- Ashkenazi Jews are the European. Oh, okay, Jews. yeah, right, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. And I hate the dis- I hate when like Zionists bring up like, oh, how can you say like, oh, we you're, we are being propped up by white supremacist countries when fifty one percent of our people have no European descent? That's not the point. The point is that you want Palestinian people to die. 
Um, yeah. Genity said most Israelis support what is going on, unfortunately, which is true, mm. but yeah. there's context to that, right? Because their media has constantly been demonizing Palestinians and Arabs for decades upon decades upon decades. There are children, uh, well, there are adults who were children when they were still being fed this propaganda. I mean, it's really like from, it's, the media landscape in Israel is actually a lot worse than, than it is here in America. Because yeah. here in America, even in mainstream media, you have some, like, dissenting opinions. But Israeli media is, like, very, like, consolidated, from what I understand. And mm -hmm. it's it's very, like, anti-Arab, anti-Palestinian. So, yeah, I mean, if, if, if you have a whole generation of people who are raised with these problematic beliefs and they're not having to live next to them. There's a border between them. Um, un unless you're uh, a settler, but that's a whole other, that's a whole other oh, tangent. Uh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Fuck settlers, obviously. Um, but for the most part, um, you know, you're, you're not having to interact with these people. There, there are Arabs who, who, who live in Israel proper, but like, not many i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure it's a pretty low amount i'm pretty sure percent. Yeah, and, and they have to be and Jewish, they don't really... obviously yeah um but they're, they're an ethno state i mean plain and simple so when you live yeah. in an ethno state and you are constantly having this bullshit spoon fed to you from childhood on then then yeah i mean of course you're you, you know and, and and nothing to combat it either you know, oh of course God. we we have we have the internet and stuff like that, but um, it's it's really hard to break from that 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 mold. I would know. I was also brainwashed with right wing bullshit growing up. So yeah, oh, same. wait, you remind me something though about like is this an ethno state, right? I found like I was watching like out of morbid curiosity. I was watching like Netanyahu's Ramadan video, and I was so shocked because like. Do you know, like, when people say, oh, I have black friends, I'm not racist, you know that, right? Oh, my God, <laughs> you know, yeah. That, yeah. that you know classic Netanyahu meme. Said? Do you know what Netanyahu did in his Ramadan video? I remember you showed it to me a while back, but I, I, I totally forgot, honestly. He said, no, listen, Israel is the nation of the Jewish people, but Muslims play a big role in our society. To show you how much we care about them, look at this. In the IDF headquarters, we have a little prayer room the size of a fucking, like, college dorm. If, if, if Muslims are so important to Israeli culture, why don't you allow them in? <laughs> like, yeah, it's like... Why don't you allow them to live there? Yeah, why do you keep killing all the other ones? <laughs> but... But guys, you have to understand, they have like a prayer room that's like the size of like a $5,000 college dorm. Wait, let me find the video. Yeah, yeah, yeah let's, let's, play, let's play it on stream. Let's play it on stream. Ramadan Karim. Israel has over 1 million Muslim citizens. They play a vital role in our society. They're judges, lawmakers, professors, prominent doctors, business people, much more. Ready for a real surprise? Right near the Knesset Synagogue, there's a Muslim prayer room inside our parliament building. Take a look. Some of Israel's parliamentarians are Muslim, so they need a place to pray, and they have it. More and more Israeli Muslims are integrating into Israeli society. That's exactly what I want to see. I want them to become part of the Israel success story. Israel is the Jewish state, the nation state of the Jewish people. But Israel is also home to Muslims, Christians, Baha'is, and so many others. In the free society that is Israel, all citizens enjoy full individual rights, regardless of race, creed, or gender. We live together, we learn from one another. We do so with mutual respect and with mutual understanding. I hope that one day all our neighbors will emulate this respect for human life and diversity. I want to wish Ramadan Karim to Israel's Muslim citizens and to Muslims around the world. 
כל העם ואנתום בחיר.